What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a large amount of wheel spins here in Horizon 5 and an easy way to do so. So this isn't necessarily an AFK method per se. It does use elements of the AFK method, but it seems to be a lot quicker um, and you can kind of not have to worry about uh, you know, the difficulties of the AFK method as far as, you know, running off a track and such like that. So let's go ahead and get into the video and get into going over what you need to set up this method. Um, and so the first thing that you're going to need is a car, specifically one that has a large amount of skill perks or skill bonuses. Honestly, the best car to use is going to be the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition because it has a skills boost um, perk because it's the Forza Edition. So I'm going to jump into it real quick and then we can go over the actual perks that we're using in the car mastery. So here you can see I've got everything relatively upgraded. You want to go ahead and just get all of this stuff down here for sure. Um, you can get this one as well, the Such Wow. And then this just kind of helps out with XP. You don't necessarily need it. Um, but you'll definitely want these just so that uh, you will be gaining skill even faster. And you're definitely going to want this extra life because there's a chance that one of the props in the race for the method may lose your uh, skill chain if you hit it sometimes. So definitely worth getting that. But you can see we did start out at 103 available points here. So let's go ahead and move into the second step. And that is going over to the Creative Hub. You're going to go into Event Lab, Event, Event Blueprints, and then you're going to hit the search button. You can see at the very bottom it looks like it's the typical what you would call the back button on Xbox. And then you're going to type in this code in the share code field. It's going to be 743. Three, two, four, one, seven, nine. Then when you do that, you just hit confirm and it'll bring you to this 10 SP and 30 S, which is 10 skill points in 30 seconds. We're going to go ahead and do it solo. Again, we're using our Sesto Elemento. The share code for the tune that's on it will be up on the screen now. It's basically just a Goliath tune. It really doesn't matter that much. It's just trying to get us through the race as fast as possible. All right, and here we are. You can see a bunch of props here. All right, and so before we start the race, you want to go over to difficulty and settings. In the difficulty, the actual Drivatar difficulty will be set at unbeatable. That doesn't matter because you can't change it, but you want to make sure every other one of these settings matches, well, I guess the top four here, match what I have. So you want assisted braking, you want auto steering, you want traction control on, stability control on, and then automatic shifting these last three really don't matter much i guess you really don't want simulation damage on but nonetheless so we can go back and then we're gonna start the race and for this like i said it's not an afk method per se it does use elements of an afk method so basically i'm just holding the trigger down right now i'm not steering and so you can you know prop your controller up against something to make the trigger be held down or, you know, hit it with a rubber band. I'm using one of my wife's uh, hair ties when I do it typically. So just find something to hold your trigger down. It'll go through and run through all these props and you can see our uh, skills are just going up and then across the line. And so what it does when you go across the line, it banks those turn or banks those perks. You can see 30 seconds there. So that was one run. So I'm going to hit the restart button because you can do that just from here. And then you have to go through here. And this kind of where makes it not necessarily an AFK method because you do have to like put inputs in every 30 seconds. But if you just like sit here and do something else while you're just, you know, hitting the A button, essentially the X in the A button a few times, um, definitely worth it. But you can see we got 4,000 skill or XP for banking that skill chain from the last race. So this is a good way to rank up as well as get 10 skill points, depending on the car, of course. With this Sesto Elemento, I get usually 10 skill points. I don't think I've gotten less so far. Of course, this will be the time that I do. 
when I'm trying to record it for you guys. But as we get to the end of the race here, I will show you. We'll go out of the race. And we should be at 123 skill points at this point. So let's go ahead and exit here. And again, we'll get some XP for completing the race. And then some credits for completing the race as well. I don't know if you get the credits every single time, but you definitely get the XP every single time. So if we go into the Car Mastery Hub, you can see 123 points. So we got 20 points for essentially a minute worth of actual racing. So that is step number one of this method. The second method, or second step, is going into the garage. We're going to go into the auto show. Um, just for the sense of actually showing you what car we're getting. Um, you could do this with two different cars. Um, one of them is going to be cheaper as far as cost, like amount of credits that they cost. And that one is going to be the Pontiac Firebird Trans Am from 1987. You can buy this, and I think it still, I think it costs 18 skill points to get the super wheel spin on this car. But again, the car costs 25,000 credits. The more effective way is to go to the 2015 Porsche Cayman GTS. I know it looks daunting that it costs 80,000 credits, but you only have to spend 11 skill points on this car to get a super wheel spin and you can spend an additional three and get a regular wheel spin on top of that so on this car you get two wheel spins technically one being a super one being a regular for 14 skill points so you can buy it from here but there's definitely a more efficient way if you're doing it in bulk let's go ahead and back out here go over to the car pass not car pass we want car collection and then if you go down here to porsche you go here to the Cayman. If you hit the Y button on Xbox, and if you're on computer, because I am playing on the computer, you can hit... That's still Y. So, still Y there. But I don't know why you wouldn't be using a controller. But you can hit Y and purchase it just like that. And you can do it... If it doesn't flip, it doesn't flip. It doesn't always have to flip. So right here, we'll buy four. Um, so it didn't flip two of the times, but as we go into the garage here, we should still have... Four. We have five. So, whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter that much because we've got the skill points to do it. Um, so this is one that I have used. This is definitely something to note. Um, you can tell which ones you haven't done yet. Well, actually, there's two in here that I have done already. Um, but there, are, you can tell which ones you haven't used yet. Use the skill points on uh, by the way they say new. So these four here, I haven't touched yet. So these two I have already. So we're going to click into the new one. We're going to get in it. And if you do it this way, it always pay, plays this cinematic when you get into a new car. I'll show you a way to get around that here in a second. But once you're in one of the Porsches, you'll go over here to Car Mastery. You're going to upgrade this. So this is actually something good too. You get 3,000 XP for this every single time. And so right now I am in the first prestige. You can see that in the top left by my rank. Um, and it costs 30,000 XP for me to rank up one time. If you are under the first X or first prestige, it costs 15,000 XP. So every five cars, you're going to be upgrading or ranking up as well, which will get you an additional wheel spin every time you wake up. So, pretty good deal there. Alright, so then you're going to buy Humble Brag, you're going to buy Sublime Handling, you're going to buy Headline Act, then you're going to go up to Refined Body Work, and then there's the Super Wheel Spin for five uh, skill points there. So as you can see, that's five, that's eight, and then three down here is eleven. But like I said, for three additional points you can get a normal wheel spin which can you know help with your your uh your profit there so we're gonna do that it's always worth doing that i would say i would say it's not worth doing a normal wheel spin for more than five skill points on my basis but that's just me um if you're looking for forzathon points for the forzathon shop you can also spend three points to get five forzathon points here um, that's actually not a bad deal. 
especially if you're doing it a bazillion times, that can add up rather quick. But that's all you need to do there. So that got us two wheel spins from that car. Um, the quicker way to switch through your cards is to go down here to designs and painting and then over here to choose car. And then when we go back to Porsche and we're going to another new one of our Porsches, as we click into that, it doesn't play that new cinematic. So definitely a quicker way around it. And then you can just go through and buy those. Um, what is that? Six perks again for the two wheel spins and then do the same thing. So then we're going to go back in designs and paints, choose car over to Porsche, over to one of our new ones. It'd be upgrade and tuning car mastery by the five to get the super wheel spin and then the six for the normal wheel spin back to designs and painting and then the last new one here that we're using right now go back to upgrade and tuning car mastery and then buy those six perks again for the two wheel spins all right there you go so and then when you're done you can get those cars out of your garage by going back to you have to go to my cars to do this um, but if you go to my cars well, let's just sort that by Porsche and then you can click on the Porsche and remove from garage the easiest way to do this is just to go to the, the very last one in your garage and start there because I think it brings the yeah, the selection to the next car or to the previous car. So it will be on your, it'll continue down the Caymans. You just have to be wary that you don't remove, like once I remove this one, it'll be on my yellow Cayman GT4 and we don't want to remove that. So definitely a quicker way to do that. And then obviously we're still in the one that we're driving and I'm just going to hold on to it just for the fun of it because we need at least one in the garage, but, um, I hope you guys did find the video helpful. I hope it, you know, was easily explained or well explained. I hope I explained it well. That's what we'll go for. Um, definitely let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Um, if you find any ways to make this more efficient, make it better, such like that, definitely let me know down below. As of right now, I'm recording this video on December 1st. This is still working and efficient, but uh, they could update it next week. It doesn't seem like they're going to be updating it this week. Um, they may update it next week, though, or it may be updated the from two weeks from now when the new Series 2 starts in Horizon 5. So just be wary of that. Try to utilize it while you can. It's definitely a good way to make money. Um, I did this for about 45 minutes earlier today, and then I recorded my Super or my Wheel Spin Wednesday video that it should have been up on the video or the channel yesterday and i think i spent three million dollars or credits on the caymans um i bought 40 something caymans or 30 something caymans i don't remember the actual number but um so i went from spending three million dollars on the caymans dropped me down to six million credits and then all of the wheel spins and stuff brought me back up to about 18 million so definitely gonna increase your money i would definitely make sure that you have enough money to buy more than one or two caimans um you definitely want to be able to buy i would say at least five or six just to make sure that you can profit because you may get unlucky wheel spins for one or two so you have to kind of put that margin of error or margin of luck is what i should say into the equation but uh let me know down below if you uh have any good luck it's a good way to get Forza Edition cars, a good way to buy and be able to afford Forza Edition cars if you want to buy them from the auto show, or the auction house rather. So definitely worth giving it a shot. I hope you guys do have a great rest of your day, but I will see you in the next video and hopefully later today for the new festival playlist videos. So thanks so much for watching the video and uh, definitely get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for future Forza Horizon 5 content, but I will see you in the next one.